Chevy said, I'm from the Green Party and I'm also a councillor, um, same as George, but I'm not here today as a councillor, I'm not here today as part of the Green Party, I'm here today as just someone who has used and who will use the NHS again, um, someone who believes that a fair day's work deserves a fair day's pay. And the one thing is, I don't want to be here today, I don't want to be here because you shouldn't have to be here. You should be able to spend your free time with your families, relaxing, chilling out, not having to stand outside and protest just to ask for fair pay. It's not right, and that's why I support you. I've been on more marches with the NHS than I can count. I think I've been on austerity marches for at least the last 10 years. In 2017, the Against NHS Cuts March in 2018, keep your hands off the NHS, don't privatise it March, and standing with juniors doctors in 2016. It is absolutely relentless. The attacks on the NHS over the last decade is unacceptable and we have had enough of it. This year more than ever we've seen the value of the NHS as you have all been on the front line, not just with COVID, but with everything else which is associated with it. Failing mental health, failing physical health, as well as COVID, and it's staff members across the NHS, not just nurses, not doctors, not therapists, everyone from every porter and housekeeper right through the entire NHS, who is working hard to keep this country going. And what did you get for it? You got a round of applause on a Thursday. Yeah. And you know, that's deserved but you can't eat it, you can't pay your rent with it, you can't pay your bills with it. And next time I'm using the NHS, I don't want the person who's taking care of me and looking after me to be worrying at the same time about whether you're going to make rent that month. That is not right. You need to be paid fairly and that's why we continue doing this. Years and years of underfunding and defunding the NHS is only leading to one thing, and that's the power grab from the private sector to walk in and say, oh, we can pay you, we can change, we can deal with this failing system. And that is being set up, and that is why we come out and fight time and time and time again to keep the NHS in public hands. Deb just said, this might be the last March today for this year, but that doesn't mean you have to stop. You can keep this going online, you can use your voice wherever you can. You can share your stories, tell people, People want to hear it, people do support the NHS, so you just need to keep on pushing, keep on fighting, and I'll be there every step of the way with you. Thank you.